Okay, guys, I just finished watching the two first episodes of The Perfect Insider. And I can say with 100% certainty that I cannot review it. And it's not because it's bad. And this is not to inform you that I have dropped it. I'm not dropping it. I'll just be watching it on my own time. Because this series is really, really, really good. And I say that even for some people. Let's say like the, those that found season two of Sion's ass online uh, boring. Or those that don't like like monologue, those that want action, action, action. They will not like this series. And I can say that for a certainty because this one, it requires a lot of thinking. It requires info basically that you are into philosophy because there's been brought some really heavy subjects up like how us humans are actually limited by of or in freedom because we have to stay alive so we cannot just dive into the depths of the ocean because first of all our bodies will be crushed or even uh, if we use like a submarine that would also be crushed and we cannot survive at that depth so we are limited because we have to survive so yeah it's actually funny because we know less about what's down in our own oceans than what's in the space. So yeah, or of course not all of space, but let's say like this, what's inside our galaxy, from what I can understand, from what I recall. So that's interesting. And then again, maybe there is a reason why we can't go down there. Maybe there is a very good reason. Maybe there is some shall say predator that would basically turn our humans into like the button of the food chain or not button you know like be above us in stuff and basically if we was to bring it up here to us it would basically destroy the human race maybe it's also another there was also another good point and that is that Dr. Makata the girl that we really need to focus about he talks with Moe or Miss Asuna, Asuno, uh, a female main character. Or I actually think that Dr. Magata is the, should say, the main main, while Miss Sona is like the su support main. When they talk, Dr. Magata brings something really interesting up, and that is that, should say, meeting a person in real life will be a luxury in the future. That is true because if we see like just from the 90s to the 2000s, we see that there happens a huge swift shift because in the 90s we were more out and talking with people like we needed to get out, we need to like read uh, newspapers, we maybe needed to talk with people. Let's just use gaming example. If uh, if some of your friends knew like uh, how to unlock something in uh, Taken Tree, like uh, like uh, winning hundred battles in a row, that would unlock you like a costume for Jin. Or oh, no, that was Anna. It was the the Zebra costume. However, you didn't. You couldn't just search on the internet. You would have to go to him and talk to him. Or if he had a save, or if you wanted to, you know, play two together as so basically co-op which was like local back then you had to go to that person you could not just you know go on the internet and actually we see that even in consoles because it's harder to transport a PS4 than it is to transport a PS1 I have all the PlayStations so I know that even the should say the PlayStation 2 was transportable but the third one wasn't really even what I have done it so yeah that's a really good point and also she also says that a shaking hands that will be like only for special occasions so yeah that's true and this actually is a bad and a good thing because that makes it harder for you to kill a person but still it also makes it harder to really know a person because you can't you know a person can be like a persona online however 
He can be, let's say like this, he can be the nicest person online. He could be like, mm, yes, dude, I passed this gear for you. But when he's home, he can maybe be like a wife beater, etc. Or a psychopath. So yeah, it's a really good series, this one. I must say, a lot of the stuff that happens is subtle, uh, subtle. So you actually really have to pay attention. Like when uh, when we see uh, Dr. Makuta's sister, or maybe it's Dr. Makuta holding her hand on the what is it called? I'm not sure if that is the brake or no. I don't think it. It's like the gear shift, and uh, she's been told by her uncle that that is dangerous. That could imply that she may have a little psychotic in her, that she may could uh, consider killing her uncle. And yes, there's also like the like uh, our main uh, main character Shigawa. He says uh, that uh, that is stupid to uh, like take interest into people, and that is kind of true because. When it comes down to it, the only one you need to think about is yourself. But that again, that is egotism. You also need to consider others because if you don't do that, you'll be alone. And this series, yeah, this is just two episodes. So imagine what a whole episode or all 11 episodes could do when... Oh man, I cannot even imagine it. I mean... Depending on the next week's episode, do another of those sports videos because I really enjoy them. Even though I don't get into like the meat of the show, or I actually did. So I could call this a review, but I will not call it. I will call the sports video on the two first. And when all that is said and done, before my head explodes, I think I can. Uh, oh man, yeah, take a little. This beer is so good, but as I was saying before my head explodes, I think I'm gonna take and stop this review and wish you all a good day, good night wherever you are, and I'll see you later. Cheers guys, or girls.